Today we're going to talk about two things. We're going to talk about orbiting the Earth, and we're going to talk about free fall. And free fall is not visiting New England in September. All right? it's, it's, it's actually when you don't have any gravity around. And we're going to talk about what that's like. So first of all, we have to talk about what it's like to orbit something. And to do that, I'm going to start off by talking about a little metaphor by Isaac Newton. To help us understand just how something can orbit the Earth, we're going to go back to an idea that Isaac Newton first had. Now, he used a cannon and was shooting a cannonball around the Earth to have it orbit the Earth, but I don't have a cannonball, so I'm going to use a laser tag gun. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to pump it up a little bit. Okay, I pumped it up four times, and I'm going to launch this, and you can watch the dart go here, and you're going to see that, boom, it was flying and it fell as it flew. And that's normal because gravity is going to pull it down. If it flew up, well, then we knew that something was wrong with the Earth. All right, so now I'm going to pump it up five times. Okay, and I'm going to launch it. And this time, we're going to hopefully see that it flies a little bit straighter. Okay, it didn't fall quite as far. And now if I pump it up six times, it'll fly even straighter. Okay, and so here we go. Line it up. Boom. And that was about as straight, you know, a little bit low. All right, so, and you can imagine that if we pumped up a bazillion times, right, you could launch it really fast, and it could fly all the way around the world, and then come back the other way again. See? All the way around. All right, and then we're going to go, and we're going to blow this up, and think about the whole Earth now in, from that perspective. So here we go. All right, we want to blow this up to a large scale, and think about what's going to happen from the perspective of something near the Earth. So this will be the Earth. Now, I don't have an Isaac Newton figurine, all I have is this wonderful Einstein figurine that I got from one of my students at school. So I've got Einstein, and he's sitting here on the Earth, right? And so he's walking around the Earth, all right? And so what's going to happen is he's going to be walking, 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 and if he trips, he'll fall down, okay? But if he's walking faster, he'll trip and he'll fall further. And just like I shot the, um, the laser tag gun all the way around the world, and it came back. Right? If you shot fast enough, if Einstein was walking fast enough, do, 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 really fast, he could trip and he could fall all the way around the Earth. Now, how does that work? Well, what's really going on is that the Earth is always pulling down due to gravity. When you drop something, things fall. Look, look, my Earth is falling. All right, so everything is falling downward, right, towards, and so when something falls down the Earth, so if you were standing in Antarctica and you fell, you'd fall down towards the middle of the Earth. Or you stand in the North Pole, you fall down, you have the equator, you fall down, okay? So wherever you are, you're falling down. So if you're going sideways when you fall down, you will go a ways before you hit the ground, just like launching the Nerf dart. Right? It went and it fell and hit the ground. So if picture this in your mind now. We're going to launch the ball sideways really fast, okay? and it's going to start falling down. And if it's going fast enough, it's going to fall down and miss the Earth. And so then now it's falling this way, and it's going to fall down, and it's going so fast it's going to miss. So if you keep missing the Earth, you're going to go all the way around, and that's what you get when you orbit the Earth. So satellites are basically falling down towards the Earth, and just missing all the time. So here's how to fly. Okay, what you need to do if you want to learn how to fly is you walk really, really, really fast and then trip, and then you'll just fly around the earth and it's no problem. Okay, look. Woo! All right, he's safe. It's okay. Nobody was harmed. Okay, me. so now let's talk about what free fall means. Now, you know if you're sitting in a swimming pool underwater and you just hold your breath, and you can just float around all casually. It's so nice and comfy. That is not what it's like in outer space. Okay, in outer space, remember, you're falling, right? So you're orbiting around the Earth, and so you're in the space station, go, and that looks really cool, right? But what you're, all your insides are screaming out to you, I'm falling, right? And your insides like, ah, you know, and you're falling around the Earth. So spacemen are really kind of, and women are really kind of casual about this, but it's just like going over the top of a roller coaster ride. You're going around and around the Earth, and like on video it looks really cool, but what you're doing is like your whole body's screaming its head off, going, I am falling around the Earth, I am falling, falling, falling. And your body is usually not very comfortable, so most people, get, you know, a little seasick or whatever, space sick when they first go up because you're not used to falling for hours at a time, right? That's kind of uncomfortable, all right? So, so when you hear about free fall, you are actually falling, right? And so it could be pretty cool, but, but just remember, it's not like floating all comfy and warm in a pool. They're just every sense of your body screaming at you that you're falling. And then, you know, until you get over that, then, then you can kind of be, oh, this is cool. Look, everything floats around and space is really cool. All right?
So until next time, remember that spacemen are just learning to ignore their insti instincts as they're falling through space. And it's pretty cool. And orbiting is just a matter of falling. And if you ever do get this sort of walking around, tripping and flying around the Earth thing to work, let me know because I'd love to do a little video about that.